Hello everyone, it is Andre, and this time I'm going to do a tutorial just about iPad. Now, I have a Magic Keyboard, and if I am pressing the delete key and it's backspacing a little bit too slowly, um, these are ellipses, but let's do it with spaces, right? If I press space, it goes really slow in, as far as repeating keys. If I hold backspace, it goes back really slow. It's a lot slower than like a Windows computer, and uh, honestly, um, I don't want to go and touch my finger and have to highlight things and... Um, you know, select that way, you know, like double tap here and then select things that way. I want to be able to do it with just my keyboard and do it quickly. So where you go is actually just go into your settings and here, let me move back here. You go to the menu on the left called accessibility um, over there and, you know, accessibility. And then you go down to um, keyboards and typing under accessories right here. And then you click or you tap key repeat. And it's on 0.1 seconds by default, which is really slow. So I'm going to use the minus, uh, the minus button there to bring it all the way down to as low as, as low as it'll go, which is 0.3 seconds. Now let me go back to my notes here. Now if I press period, you can see it's going much faster. And if I hold backspace, it's going much faster. Now this only applies to special characters like periods, um, let's see, dollar signs. But it doesn't apply to letters. Notice if I hold down, let's say, the N button, then I can make an Enya. Or if I hold down the A button, I can make a letter. So um, it doesn't work with letters and it doesn't work with numbers either. So it only works with special characters like spaces, backspaces, and stuff like that. Um, but it's it's a lot more satisfying if I'm typing a sentence and I want to backspace the whole thing. I don't have to wait such a long time. Um, so yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you that because it's something I just learned recently. Thank you all. Bye-bye.